Hello everyone, welcome back to Battle Brothers. This is Krendus, and welcome back to the Beta Company. So, we finished driving away the brigands, and now we need to return to Hellstad. And so, let us return to Hellstad. And this should pretty much solve all their bandit problems for a little bit. At least for a little bit, hopefully. I mean, maybe these bandits will be back, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, they definitely dealt us a bit of a problem, but that is okay, because Patch is still alive, and that's that's great. I don't like this so much. A plus one to leveling up with, with his melee skill. His level, his melee skill is already really high, so melee defense, that's fine. I could go with Fatigue here instead. That'll put him over um, 100 by one, but... um. I don't entirely know what I would get from that. He will eventually get heavy armor, but... Hmm. He has pretty high initiative, too, I think. Hold on. L let's actually compare his initiative with someone else. Okay, so what do we got? 88. That's, of course, because he has... He has less initiative because it also subtracts with the maximum amount of fatigue penalties that you have based off how much armor you're wearing. So in this case, you know, wearing a shield is negative 10 fatigue, negative, um, this armor is negative 4, this is 2, so what? He'll have negative 16 initiative. Well, negative um, 22, specifically. So, yeah, great. Um, did anyone else level up? No. Okay, let's see. 1, 4, 14. So, Horus would have, what, 19? He would have more initiative than um, Patch then. So, Patch's initiative is not as high as I'm thinking. Um, I think. I think we'll do Fatigue and do Melee skill anyways. No, I think we'll actually not do that. I'm going to do melee defense. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. And we'll also do melee skill. I don't like the one roll, but I'm going to go with it anyways, because we're doing that. And that just happened. So, great. Now, I believe Patch is our first level three, which means we get to mess with these perks instead. Um... They did change dodge, which is interesting. It used to be it lasts until you're hit, and then it's gone for good. But now it's after two consecutive rounds without being hit, you could regain your bonus from dodge, which basically is 50% of the character's initiative, which is why I was looking up how good his initiative is, is a bonus to melee and rage defense until hit. Um, I, in my mind, anyways... That would synergize really well with Repost, which is this, which is the sword skill. Um, I do not know if that's true. I do not know at all. I don't know if we'll make Patch the sword user either. We still have two levels to decide, so it will be a long time until then. So for now, I think... Hmm... Colossus is nice. Dodge would be kind of nice. His resolve is not that high. It's not low either, though, so it's average, I would say. Hmm. Bullseye was useless. Executioner could be interesting. Headhunter would also actually synergize with Repost, now that I think about it. Because if you Repost, I assume that's basically a free hit to the body. I'm actually going to go with Headhunter. I don't know. We'll see. We will certainly see. 448 gold. I mean, we got a decent amount of gold from this. 330 So what? That'll basically put us at a bit more than 770 And yeah, we'll see what the next contracts are. 
no longer has ambush trade routes. Is there another contract here? Dealing... Oh, hello. Patch comes along with a small boy racing by his side. When they get to you, the pair talk at the same time. Stop and then start again. You hold your hand up and then point to the little boy who immediately says that Sigurd the Councilman wishes to see you. You then point to the Battle Brother who says a local bitch has birthed puppies and maybe the beta company could t take one. Pursing your lips, you tell the boy to... You tell the boy to take you to his master, who is already found, who is found already waiting for you. Okay, brigands, we need someone to go to Elkshorn. Sure, why not? I don't know where Elkshorn is. I, yep, into it. Oh shoot, this is an actual caravan escort mission. Okay, that's that's not what I expected. I thought this was a package delivery mission. Okay, that's kind of bad. Especially if we get into an actual fight. If we get into a fight, we can just run, but, um... That would not be ideal. Root Hard obviously needs equipment. I... What do we got here in terms of equipment? Um... So that's a bit pricey. I... Don't know if we buy this. We have a bunch of shields we can give Brute Heart. I don't know what I want Brute Heart to do at the moment, to be honest. I think we'll actually give him a padded surcoat. Oh, shoot. Well, now we're going now. Um, good that he has a hood to just put on for now. I am thinking Militia Spear. His melee skill is not bad, but of course he has a star and range skill. Let's call that, like, expertise or something. Additional skill. Root Heart's not fantastic, unfortunately. But, I mean, yeah, let's go to Spear. And we don't have an actual full shield here, so buck. Okay. Alright. Fantastic, I think. We'll see. We'll certainly see. Root Hard is now going to be... Hmm. No, not that. <laughs> That's me hitting the mute button. Uh, it's Chris. With a K. Because... I don't know why. Uh, oh! Oh my god. That is a thing, alright. Uh, do we want to engage in this? Well, we can't, but... Man, the militia are really going at that. Uh... I'm kind of curious. Interesting. Wow. What is this? When the caravan takes a quick break, you come to find a man resting with his leg dangling from the bed of a wagon. Except his feet aren't free. They're bound together by chains, and his arms are in no better of a state. He sees you. You recognize me. I am Toastig von... V uh, I am Toastig von... Whaleberg. Yeah, Whaleberg of House Whaleberg. A prisoner of some value, as I'm, I'm sure my name alludes. But as a freed man, I'm of greater value. Kill these guards. Take me home and you won't be able to walk. And you won't be able to walk. You'll have so many crowns in your pockets. A guard walks up to you. A guard walks up and slaps the scabbard against the man's shins. Quiet, you! Come on, mercenary. We're about to ready. We're about ready to hit the road again and pay this bastard no mind, would ya? He's got nothing but lies for you. Hmm. Interesting. I'm curious if this is a new event added in the um, update, because I've never seen this before. You know what? Let's free him. I'm freeing him. I don't like how we do this exactly, but oh well. As the caravan guard turns around, you take your dagger and jam it beneath his armpit and directly into his heart. He muffles something that falls to the ground. Another guard comes around, sees this, and then and then sees your sword disembowel him. He cries. His cries, however, are not muffled. A battle soon commences, and though it is completely lopsided as the beta company makes short wake work of the caravan guards. Once it is all said and done, Toastig von Wahlberg is freed, rubbing his purple red sea points you turn toward Waffrel. Waff- really? Waffrel? Interesting. Waffle. Onward! 
Return me to my family so I can fill your pockets for this your, fill your pockets for this incredible ba incredible bravery. Okay. Well, that's gonna make us a lot of friends, huh? Well, see, Halstead, it was nice knowing you, I guess. Oh, Jesus, what? Brigand Raiders. That's not something I'm into, to be perfectly honest. I'm really hoping... Well, Elkshorn doesn't care, but, um... I don't like this auto-direction path. I don't actually... I don't want to fight six Brigand Raiders. Sorry. Oh, my God. Mm. Poor peasants. We can't really... I mean, we're not in a good position to fight them right now, honestly. Pierced arm muscles. Yeah, that's... Well... That's pretty bad, because Patch is one of our main killers. Yeah, we can't help. Damn. That sucks. A lot. I feel bad, actually. I didn't mean for them to attack the peasants. I thought they would just uh, tra uh, trail us to Elkshorn. But I mean, I don't have much of a say in the matter either, because they are really the superior force in this, in this case. So, we're good on everything, it looks like. Tools, we're surprisingly good on. Whoa. The first Grottenheim, Grottenheim company. Now we're going through the fog. Hopefully nothing bad will be in the fog. It's just a road, we'll see. The first Comhaven company escorting a trade caravan here. Good to see all, all the friendlies, really. Something doesn't exactly add up here. Hmm. Because we were going to Elk's Horn, right? And that's controlled by the exact same noble house. I think he just screwed us. Because this makes no sense. Oh my goodness. Many armored water gangers and a few geists. Interesting. He may have screwed us. Because we're... I mean, Hellstad is a completely different company. I mean, um, a completely different house affiliation. Elkshorn and Waffle are not. So I think we did get screwed. If we did it, I would be very much surprised. I'm, I, I hope I'm surprised. Let's see. Holy what? The prisoner wasn't lying, but you get a quick refreshment to keep your place in society. A very healthy, a very, a very heavily armed guard hands you your reward. Even though you rescued one of your bloodline, uh, one of their bloodline rather, it appears House Wellberg wants no part in taking talking to you themselves. It is what it is. Okay, well, our relations did improve, and we got 3,000 crowns? Oh my god! Okay, so, I'm, I'm sorry for doubting him. Wow, uh, that's huge. That is huge. This is more money than I think we've had in our in our last series, I'm gonna say? Damn, we have so, I mean, this is awesome. Oh my God. And Waffle has really reasonably priced supplies, which is to say that they're losing money by selling them for this much, but I don't care. Um, wow. Wow. So one thing I actually did wanna do is lower this slightly. I don't actually know if that did anything, but let's just turn the music down a little bit like that. Yeah? Sure, why not? I hope my little mix there made the, made the audio less overbearing. 
because in the first three episodes, I realized that it kind of was. I just forgot that it was like that. So they're selling armor at value as well. Oh, actually, man, I. Mm. A mot with Bailey built on a spot of dry ground. Okay, what kind of recruits do we got here? We could immediately just spend all our gold on this guy. I don't like that idea so much. At all, act. Philman is a hound master. That could be a very interesting opportunity, actually, because we also have a kennel here. So you know what? Let's do it. Hound master, kennel. Uh, ooh, let's buy, let's buy Jaws, because that sounds promising. I don't, let's not be cheap. We have this, we have a lot of... Hmm. Man, okay, so Thilman needs to be renamed, first of all. Because this is a really boring name. Um, this is Morrison? He gets the dog. He is apparently, I mean, that's a lot of health. His melee skill's pretty high as well, but he doesn't have any stars in melee, so it's more than likely that'll fall off at some point, which is really unfortunate. But other than that, he's not that impressive. I, that doesn't mean I want to get him killed exactly, because a Houndmaster, or dogs unleashed by this character must start confident morale. That's huge. And he's disloyal. That's lovely. Fan freaking tastic. Let's give him a hatchet. I almost don't. Oh. Okay, he actually has pretty decent armor to start off with. I kind of want to stick with this. Well. I guess let's stick with the greenhouses for now, huh? House Whaleberg. Okay. Whoa, okay, Whaleberg, that in, okay, yeah, all right. That improved our relations with Whaleberg pretty heavily, I'd say. Did that tarnish our reputation with Grimmund? How did I, oh, there we go. No? They just don't like us? Okay, whatever. Slaughter to Caravan, task to protect. Yeah, I can see why they would like it, dislike us for that. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Well. We have a whole bunch of Whaleberg locations here, so let's stick with Whaleberg for now. I mean, we're kind of in their graces already. Might as well stick with them, right? I am very surprised we didn't get screwed over because this makes no sense. That means something is happening in Elk's Horn, let's say. Oh my god, that was a huge amount of gold. I love it. I'm just like... I'm rich in power right now. I mean, it's not that much gold in the, at the end of the day. Okay, what the heck is this? Raided Disappearing Villagers. Both these sound terrible. Okay, so follow the footprints of thievery. Demonic statuette. I'm... You want your demonic statuette back? What the hell? Okay, so... um, This better be a really easy job. Sure, I, I'm i expecting Raiders because this is a tier two contract or two skull contract, let's say. So that's not the easiest thing in the world. 
Horus is still wounded. As is with the exact same things as they were had as as they had before. So this this the track southeast of Elkshorn. Let's get let's let's scout these guys out. That's not east though. This is so southeast would be into mountains. I don't see any tracks at all. What in the what? Horace tells you AJ is going around camp asking for crowns. Apparently the former beggar just needs a little more, expressing a long-winded sob story to anyone who will listen. Hearing this news, you go see the man yourself before he, but before he could even get a before you could even get a word out, rather, the man lets loose his long narrative. Finished, he looks you in the eye, trying to gauge whether or not you'll give him something. Here you go, I guess. Sure, we got a lot of money. The beggar takes the crown and with a smile gets right back to work. Okay, he's content. That's not you should be a lot more than content, but okay. Thieves! Oh, mini bandit thugs, what? Come on. I am almost okay with going into battle with injured people. Especially if it's just thugs. I mean, that means what? It'll be harder to hit people, but that's okay. Other people should be able to pick up the slack. If they can't, then we're screwed. But um, the dog should be able to pick up the slack, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Thugs. Brigand, just as your employer had thought, they look scared. Presumably understanding that, that Ulrich of Elkshorn's well-paid wrath is about to descend upon them. Oh, that's what you get for stealing, apparently, a demonic statuette. Never steal anything dealing with demons. Is it still nighttime? I don't think it is. Alec Baldwin, get up there. You're gonna shoot over everybody. We have some good choke points here. Um, tree here, tree there. If we set up here, oh, we could pick people off one by one. So that covers that route. Um, so what do we got here? Tree here, tree there. That's a bit, sl it's slightly harder to do that in this area, but we can set up three here. There's only one entrance there through these two trees, right? A tree, 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 grassland. Okay, yeah. Um, that's probably the best plan, actually. Wait. Wait, what? Oh! The br okay, so never mind. In that case, we could set up literally right here. And then hopefully everything will be fine. We'll see though. Horus is not in the best mood to be fighting in the front line right now, so we'll spare him that. Good, because we need to spread experience around anyways. Patch also in the same camp. AJ, on the other hand, should be perfectly fine. Come here. Come on, guys. The Vasili should go up here, actually. I feel like. Or Hilmar, but what can Hilmar actually do? I guess let's see what Hilmar can do with this bludgeon, but the bludgeon is not that strong of a weapon in my experience, other than for the stun. The stun is huge. Vasily, stay here. I don't know what I'm going to have you do, to be perfectly honest, but we'll see. Everyone's going up top into that choke point for, so I don't know why. So if I, if I left, if I decide to move up, I'm not going to do that. Forget that. I'm actually going to spear wall. Let's see what happens. Last time I had one of these fights in these close quarters. Is it seriously nighttime? Line of fire blocked. Well, apparently, whatever. 
<laughs> right? There's no way in hell they're gonna go for Vasily. If they do, they are incredibly intelligent. Bye. Come on. Yep. Keep it up. Damn it. That's okay. I like fighting normally. Ow. You actually got a stun off on Morrison, who is confident. Stay there. Oh, come on. There we go. Wounds out. That guy got, uh, I mean, right in his leg, really. You know, that's that's an actual... I can imagine that happening if you stab someone with a pitchfork, that their leg would be, like, pierced. Because it's a pitchfork. I'm just going to go for direct damage. I don't entirely see stun being that appealing right now. All right. Well, you know, you hit something, Alec Baldwin. That is fine. I am perfectly into that. Why do I give basically rookies anything besides spears? I don't know. I wish I knew why. Because spears are freaking amazing. Yeah, eat it. Stun me once. Don't stun me again. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, Patch, stay tight. Hold tight. Everyone's dead. This sucks. That guy's... Okay, well. AJ's gonna do nothing here, so he might as well move up. Okay. They're coming around flanking. Interesting. I mean, I'm kind of okay with getting rid of my formation now. Can I shoot you? No. Hmm. I could start to move this way. But I can't actually shoot yet, unfortunately. I wish I could. I, yeah, just go for the damage. All right. The bludgeon fractured his ribs as a bludgeon. So, really right in the side, I'd say. Just leave that guy on the bottom to do... I mean, leave him to his own devices. He should be fine. Goodbye. You want to fight the Morrison? Oh my god. With a frick... Wow. With his cut arm, he just cut him down, really. I think it's dog time, actually. Yeah? I'd say it's dog time. Alright, dog. What are you gonna do? Where are you going? The dog just flew off into... I don't even... I don't know where he's going. The enemy is not that way. That dog is a... Uh, that dog needs to be trained a bit better, I guess? Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's not cool. That is very much not cool. Hmm, that was a head. Yeah, that was a hit to his head, too. So, yes, that's how he got the broken nose, because it was to his head. Ouch. Hmm. We'll see what we can do. I'm a bit worried that having him go out there was not the right choice. We can spear wall here with Chris. Yeah, why did you even go that way to begin with? Patch can't do anything. Okay, alright. Um. Now, how about Horus moves away? Perfect. Perfect, in my opinion. Rupert can actually move forward here. I probably should have gone for a shield in that case, but oh well. 
Ow. Oof. The sounds in this game are very painful. Even if the damage is not much. Hey, eat it. Well, th there's our mysterious number four. Number three now. I will be very much shocked if this guy can take Morrison down. Absolutely dumbfounded, in fact. So, Patch, go ahead and help. Okay, never mind. Dog. Dog's got it. I don't think anyone gets the experience if the dog gets the kill, though, which is a bit unfortunate. I don't know what to do with AJ. Well, Horus, get away. Can't get a good shot off on this damn thug. Oof. Oh, no more head for you. Oh, he's retreating? Okay, we won. No, run them down. All bandit thugs die. Because that's just the way it is. Sorry. Oof. That would have been a really gruesome death. Just clubbed to death. You clean the blood off your sword and then go to retrieve the item. As you bend over to pick it up, you spot a man watching you in the distance. He comes forth, his two hands... His, his two hands totem together with long sleeves? Okay. I see you've killed my benefactor's men. Sheathing your sword, you nod the man. He continues, My benefactor paid good money for that artifact. It appears those he paid are no longer owed. He paid are no longer owed. So maybe I could speak to you directly. I will give you 240 crowns for the item. That is a good amount of money. Ulrich of Elkshorn, however, will not be happy if you decide, if you decide to accept. Uh, we're paid to return, return it. I think that's like, what, 40? That's a terrible deal, actually. That would have been the dumbest thing ever. 